So, yesterday I had an idea. Here, I'll show you. As usual, I'm down here at Tippy Norton Lakes doing my run. But, um, you won't believe this, mate. Must have been a big weekend. What's going on here? Whatever it was, it made a lot of rubbish. The council's here picking it all up now. Grubs. It's a, uh, Yeah, look, it's um, a chilly seven degrees out here this morning. Um, I'm really unfit. As normal, on a Monday morning, I've got a heap of stuff to do, so I packed the car up and um, it's put me about 20 minutes behind. So once again, I've now got to head back and I'm only a third of the way through, so I'm not gonna hit it again today. I give myself 15 minutes to what happens. I've got a really cool idea for tomorrow's um, morning run. I think I might include some wheels on it. it. Looks like a good track for it actually. <laughs> you might like it, I don't know. This morning, uh, I got the notification from Peter McKinnon, McKinnon talking about the power of an idea. I think to start, we need to clarify what an idea actually means. So let's take to Google and actually type in, what is an idea? This is what it says. <sighs> an idea is a thought or suggestion as to a possible course of action. Action is the key word here. And um, then it strikes me. The only thing is, he missed a very good point. You see, he goes on about ideas are nothing without action, and that's so important. But he didn't touch upon how organic ideas are. They start as one thing and they grow into another. It's kind of what this is. Why is it that they can build plastic? And plastic lasts for hundreds of thousands of years. But my roller blades just fall apart. You see, the idea was to show you what it's like down the river on inline skates. It was as simple as that. But what happened next was horrible. Told ya, today's gonna be a little bit different. That was unexpected. The um, plastic's gone all brittle. Should have bought a bike. So when that happened, I was shattered, gutted. Definitely not in the mood for video anything. Got straight on my phone, looked up some brands that are out now because I'm telling you, been a while since I rode these things. Needless to say, the prices haven't changed. They're still around the $300 mark, so that's what's got me thinking. Do I take this idea of 
gold blading around the park and turn it into something else? Do I turn it into a recreation? It's an organic idea. So now the question is, do I let the past go? Or do I jump right in there and relive my childhood? <laughs> you see, there's no point in just buying them just for one shoot or there's no real point in abandoning the idea either. So let's see where this goes. But the main point in Peter's video was action. And we have to wholeheartedly agree with him that if you have an idea, don't let it get away from you. Apply the action and who knows what it's going to turn into. So I can't give you an outcome to this video right now because obviously I've got a decision to make whether to order the new blades or not. And then I've obviously got to wait for them to be delivered. And then I'll have to put some content together on the whole story of well, the backstory, I guess, for anyone watching the second video and not the first video. And then I'll just have to link them together. But anyway, so if you want to see the next video, make sure you hit that little bell so you get the notifications. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you can hit that bell. Until then, peace.